Hi, Mr. Yan. My name is、uh, Chen, and I'm with Hong Kong Phoenix TV. My question is also about foreign policy. Would you mind just commenting more on that? You have mentioned there will be a, there should be a rebalance between U.S.-China relations. But would you mind just commenting more on how would you tackle this issue and deal with, especially the trade war right now? Thank you. The U.S.-China relationship, to me, is one of the most important relationships that's going to define the 21st century. There are real trade issues,、uh, particularly the piracy of our intellectual property、um, on the part of Chinese firms.、Uh, but to me, the trade war was a and is a counterproductive way to try and approach those imbalances because it ends up creating victims、uh, that have nothing to do with the, the conflict, including producers and farmers in Iowa and other Midwestern states. Now the Chinese government has two main priorities that, unfortunately, sometimes right now are, are at odds even with each other. Number one is maintaining robust economic growth so that they can continue to try and、uh, raise their standard of living, and number two is maintaining social order.、Uh, now the United States has an incredible influence on the first of those two goals because we are one、uh, one of the main drivers behind their continued economic growth, and so the goal has to be to. Use both carrots and sticks to improve the relationship, address American concerns, with the big picture、uh, stance that the U.S. and China、uh, are going to be the two biggest economies in the world for quite some time, and we need to work together on things like climate change, artificial intelligence,、uh, and geopolitical hotspots like North Korea. And that if you don't maintain any degree of cooperative relationship, then those problems are just going to、uh, Get worse over time. It's not an easy relationship to manage because we have many genuine tensions and、uh, difficulties. But it's an important relationship, maybe the most important relationship, and that's the way we should approach it. Are all y'all paying attention? Automation gonna sweep the nation unless we get him in. Andrew Yang, 2020 Freedom Dividend. Climate change is real again. Science rules. Teachers bringing hope.